in July when unemployment stops paying out these extra monies, okay, when unemployment benefits end, when stimulus stops going to businesses and they just can't make it anymore and they start going, they start going bankrupt or start having a hard time, when all of these deferred mortgage payments and deferred rent payments all kind of end when you can't defer or furlough anything anymore and all that money is now due, do you think everybody's going to have that money just sitting aside? ready to just make up all their extra mortgage payments that they didn't pay, make up all their extra rent payments? Folks, I'm seeing it already. The answer is no, they will not. Which means what is going to happen? Well, three, six, 12 months from now, you will start seeing real estate dropping. You'll start seeing real estate pricing come down. How much? Well, I don't know. It's not going to be 2008, that much I can tell you. So, if you're waiting for the opportunity to buy real estate as cheap as you did back in 2008, well, it could be a long wait. I don't see that. I see maybe, you know, mid to, to high single digit drops in single family housing, okay, residential housing. I see maybe low to middle uh, teens drops. So, you know, between 10 and maybe 15% drops in the multifamily space because a lot of tenants aren't going to be able to pay rent. A lot of people overpaid based on speculative pricing on these big multifamilies. And therefore, when rents don't cover their cost and there may be an out-of-state investor, well, maybe they're just going to cut and run and try to, you know, lick their wounds and, and ride off into the sunset. All of these things, 